So what's up guys? Yeah, I know, I know, I said no more videos, but well, you know how it is. Um, we're just about to move into a closed beta period and for the last couple of weeks I've been working on finishing off the um, last of the sort of behind the scenes stuff that I mentioned at the end of uh, what was supposed to be the last video. And I have to say that some of the things that uh, we've added in since then are working out really quite well so I just wanted to um, to let you guys see them so that you understand what they are uh, and if you happen to come across and join us for some testing uh, you've got a little bit uh, a little bit of a heads up on what to expect so uh, here we are uh, fresh game uh, as usual I've just uh, given myself various bits and pieces in my inventory haven't enabled I equip as yet uh, we have, if I just have a quick look in my inventory, you can see I currently have equipped my Dragonbone Vorax, my Dawnguard Shield, and uh, Unrelenting Force. Uh, just bear that in mind, uh, because the first thing that you will notice is when you now enable I equip for the first time, and reopens now working here we go I didn't do any of that by the way that's all automated uh, when you then come back out and the widget first enables you will notice that I equip has scanned the player and found what you've got equipped in left and right hand and shout slots and has automatically added those to your um, three queues so that the widget isn't empty when you uh, when you first load. Um, as we talked about in the last video, it's done the same with uh, potions. They're all grouped. It's done the same with consumables. It's done the same with poisons. So uh, it gives you a little bit of a head start there. Um, so yeah, that's that. That's uh, currently equipped items uh, automatically added on start. Um, just as a quick recap. Uh, for you to then add more items to your queues, you basically just go into your inventory, you highlight the items that you want to add, you press your relevant um, cycling hop key without equipping it, and it will add it to your queue. I'm just going to do this with a couple of things for each queue, so this is the left hand, and just jump into here, chuck it. Fire breath into our shouts queue. Uh, so that's adding things normally. Uh, I'd say let me just um, jump into edit mode and move the widget up uh, a little bit so that it's a little bit more visible. Let's just get right the way up here. nice up there doesn't it we'll just go with that actually while we're in edit mode um, something else to show you uh, cycling elements in edit mode if you remember before uh, when you cycled it would cycle through each of the widgets then it would go through every single one of the individual items one at a time so if you wanted to get to something that was right in the middle of the 46 elements that there are in the widget um, it could take you quite a bit of time cycling so we've now uh, added in a toggle into cycling so um, first round of cycling will cycle you through five widgets and the complete widget, like so. And uh, if you then settle on one of the sub widgets and long press your cycling key, it will then jump to the first item in that widget and let you cycle through it. Just that widget. And then long press again will jump you back into cycling widgets so it makes it a lot easier and quicker for navigating around um, so yeah just th that little addition in edit mode uh, also um, never lost been uh, putting a lot of effort into uh, rewriting my uh, edit mode code and streamlining it a bit more uh, it was the very first bit of the mod that i wrote nearly a year ago and uh, the, the coding was a little bit primitive, so he's uh, he's refactored an awful lot of it, including things like uh, the how the custom colours are handled. You won't see any difference actually on screen, but it makes a, a, 
big difference in terms of how much has to be done and also on uh, rotation. Um, rotation used to be that you would get to um, 270 degrees and it would for some bizarre reason spin itself all the way backwards to get to where it needed to. Well now it just rotates smoothly all the way around. So a um, <clears throat> couple of little edit mode tweaks that you wouldn't have noticed unless I told you. Right, uh, let's jump back out and into game. So you've seen the items auto added at startup. Uh, we've had a quick recap of how you add them regularly into your queues. Um, if we just have a look in our queues, you'll see that we have a couple of things in our left, a couple of things in our right, and two. Um, yeah, go on. Shouts in our Shouts and Powers queue. However, what we now have is. Uh, let me just draw some weapons here. Looking at his back, let's just, uh, where are we? No, is it in this one? No, it's in better free camera. There we go. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, so. Um, currently got our Dragonbone War Axe equipped there. Uh, if we just jump in here for a second. Uh, we did touch on this very briefly in the last video, but it wasn't actually enabled at the time. So, Auto Add on Equipping now gives you the option that it'll do exactly that. Uh, if you equip an item that I equip doesn't currently know about, so at the moment we've got uh, Dragonbone War Axe is known by the uh, widget Sword of Burning is, you see the little cues for left and right up here, but uh, let's say our Iron Battle Axe of Sparks is not known by I equip, so let's just equip it, and there we go, it automatically adds it into your queue does whatever it needs to do for left item fade or if you've just equipped a ranged weapon it'll toggle into um, quick uh, into uh, ammo mode uh, and just to prove it's there right hand queue here we go just been added in there so auto add on equipping and uh, just to prove uh, it doesn't matter where you equip it from. If we just have a quick look in here, uh, let's just directly equip from a container. There we go. Automatically adds it in, toggles into ammo mode. There we go. And let's just cycle back to our Dragon Board War Axe again. And if we just search this uh, unfortunate bandit chief over here, do the same thing, straight equip it, and there we go, straight in. So basically, no matter where you equip the item from, oh, I'm now carrying too much, excellent, let's just, um, in fact, this is quite a good one, because uh, this brings us on to the next, next thing. Um, again, back in here, uh, we did talk about this very briefly oh, way back uh, this setting here allow caching of removed items and the maximum number of cash um, basically uh, this uh, allows you to uh, handle items being removed from your inventory if you only had the one of them um, and it was known and I equipped so basically uh, when an item's removed that's currently in a queue, it will be dropped from your queue immediately and it will be added into the list of cached items. If you then pick the item up again, uh, it will automatically re add it back into your queue. And obviously, if you pick it up and directly equip it, it will 
update the widget accordingly. Um, so because we've just picked up this steel battle axe and we only have one of them, if we just go in here and drop it, there we go. It drops the battle axe. It's been removed from our right hand queue where it was and it has automatically uh, re-equipped the next item in the queue which is back to the start of the queue for this instance. Um, one, one nice little side effect of this actually is uh, if you have this um, this enabled. In fact, the on item remove thing works whether you've got caching enabled or not. It, um, if, you, if you drop a weapon or uh, get rid of a weapon that you're currently equipped, it will cycle you on automatically. So no longer will disarm shouts completely screw you. You won't end up punching those um, Drought and Death Lords in the face anymore. It will disarm you, as it should do, but you will automatically then grab your next weapon spell, whatever it is you've got in your just been disarmed from. However, if we go back over here and pick this back up again, I'm not going to equip it, just pick it back up, and we then take a look back into our queue, it's been added back into the queue that it was just removed from. So that is caching of removed items. So basically, um, for something like getting thrown in jail or diplomatic immunity quest or anything like that that, oh, that force um, removes the player's inventory uh, which would normally have completely screwed with um, my equip because the items would all be removed from your queues well in this instance it should remember them all and when they're added back into your inventory it should put them back into the queues where they are um, I haven't tested it on mass uh, inventory removal and re-adding like that but theoretically it should work fine it certainly works fine for um, individual items like that um, so there you go removed item caching and re-adding very handy and the last thing I want to show you is again something that I mentioned very briefly a couple of videos back and wasn't uh, wasn't enabled at the time um, we had the name fade outs which we looked at before so I'll just turn back off we now have widget fade outs so let's just set this to something that will make it happen really quickly and turn that off so basically uh, your widget will fade out after a period of inactivity as far as I equips concerned so if you do not press any of the I equip hotkeys or have any I equip uh, events happen the widget will fade from view. Um, if we just take a look at that happening, it should fade after a few seconds here. And there you go. Disappears from view. Uh, as soon as I do anything with I equip, so cycling or anything like that, it will reshow and it will carry on and do whatever it was that you just pressed it to do, and it'll then fade out again. Um, we had a setting in there that was always visible when weapons drawn so again uh, as long as you have your weapons drawn it will not fade out there we go. however if I sheath my weapons it will then fade out after the required delay and as soon as I draw my weapons again, it's back. If you don't have that setting toggled, so if you're allowing it to fade out even if you have weapons drawn, uh, but you have an enchanted weapon equipped, then if your weapon enchantment drops below the low threshold that you've set on the um, recharging options, then the widget will show again as you drop below the, the low threshold and will then fade out again and it will show again when the weapon is empty so that you're prompted to or reminded to recharge it. So there you go. Um, that is it, that's the last of it. So items added at startup, um, 
edit mode cycling changes, auto adding on equip, uh, removed item handling, removed item caching, auto re-adding removed items, and widget fade out options. There you go. Um, lots of nice little quality of life things which uh, I thought were going to be just back office things but actually merit their own little video because uh, they're all working really nicely. Uh, and that's it. I shall, uh, I shall leave you guys for now. Uh, head over at the Discord if you want to join in on the, um, the beta testing. Uh, more the merrier. Uh, we're, we're really close to um, getting it ready for final release now. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you again.